Hi. Well, today I'd like to talk about some of the interesting things that have come into Antique Cupboard in the recent past. So I got a call from a man from Chicago, and he said that he was newly a new resident of Chicago, and he had lived in New York, and he wanted to divest himself of some silver, and he was going to give some to his kids, but he would sell me some. So I went down there, and he had fabulous silver. Martelet, really great stuff. I managed to buy several things. One was 12 Tiffany Lap Over Edge applied dinner forks with great big dragonflies and, and frogs, etc. I wish you could see it, those, but there, there's been people waiting 20 years for those forks, and so, um, and several people and so they went rather quickly. Uh, when I was there, the man's wife was in the kitchen and I saw her drinking coffee. And she was drinking coffee out of these fabulous mint julep cups. And um, so these are the pattern Gorham Japanese. Uh, they have the date stamp from 1874. And I asked the woman if she would sell them and she said, no, I wouldn't sell my coffee cups. And then. I bought a lot of other things, and she said, well, I'll, I'll sell them for a, a really outrageous price, I suppose. And the price wasn't that outrageous, and so I'm pleased to have them at least for a temporary time. So, so that's one of our new items. Okay, then a friend of mine said, who knew that I liked unusual things, said, I've got something unusual that you've never seen. It's called an orange press. And so, uh, it's from Germany, from the 1870s. And uh, I had just been in Estonia, and I saw some of the um, big German manor houses there. And they were amazing. So they had their own breweries, their own vodka distilleries. They had their own gardens. They had their own ponds for fishing. What they had was amazing, but one of the most amazing things that they had was this greenhouse. And in the greenhouse, they had orange trees. And so during the winter, they would have the orange trees in the greenhouse. And then in the summer, they would pull them out and they would have fresh orange juice. Now, at that time in Europe, 1870s, Oranges were more expensive than gold in Europe. And so to have one of these uh, was really very wealthy person. Anyway, it just lifts up. Let's see. It lifts up. You put your orange in there. And then the little thing goes down. And you have your orange juice glass right underneath here. You have spaces for your orange knives up here. You have spaces to hold a few oranges over here. It's a very neat contraption. So, all right. Our next thing is a fabulous punch bowl. This one is whiting. It weighs over a hundred ounces. It's rather timely as we move into the holiday period. It has holly and mistletoe applied um, as its motif. It is probably one of my favorites that I've ever had. On the cover of Silver Magazine many years ago, I saw a piece of George Sharp with a bug on it. And I've always been fascinated by that pattern. And now I have this piece of George Sharp Gothic dome with a bug I've never seen on any other piece of silver. So it's, it's, this, it's this unusual fork with this big bug on it. What's really interesting about this bug is the feelers. They stretch almost to the end of the fork. So, never saw the piece before. It is absolutely museum quality. Very cool piece. It's a, it's a real pleasure to get this kind of thing in. Okay, then, mainly we deal in American sterling, but every once in a while something that is out of our main buying type comes along that I just like a lot. And so 
We don't get much great Portuguese silver in, but that's what this is. 1890s Portuguese centerpiece uh, flower arranger. So the work is great. It's funny how you get things. So one of the great silversmiths of the 20, 20th century is Evan Cavanaugh. He's done work for us for years. He's had shops in London and New York and more recently in Virginia. He's now 95 years old, still does work for us. He keeps on saying he's thinking of retiring. We hope that day doesn't come, but I'm afraid in reality, someday it's gotta come. Anyway, this thing is heavy as heck. And um, he said he was downsizing. He had this for about 35 years in his home. And he said, I'd like to see it go to another good home. So I bought it and uh, you know, it could go to a great home like yours. Okay. Anyway, now the piece that we got last week that I think is absolutely cool is this terrapin terrine. Now you gotta look at the bottom and see this turtle for the base. And then you look at the body and you see fish and shells and turtles and crabs. It's just encrusted with the, with the creatures. And then you have this handle that's a, like a wave of water moving up. So terrines are rather hard to find. A terrapin terrine with a sea motif is, is almost impossible. And um, I'm very pleased to have this in our collection for the moment. So these are the new items that we have at Antique Cupboard. Thanks.